So this is what I'm up against right now. The mouse moves on its own. We need to get this fixed. So basically one thing I noticed that if I have the stereo in this mode and I turn off the car and I turn it back on, the issue goes away. So I told them about this and so far they have no idea what it is. So I'll try some stuff to see if it helps. Right now it's okay. As long as the car stays in this mode. I go to radio. And I'll flip back to the auxiliary, which is their mode. See? Now the mouse is moving on its own again. So currently the dip switches are on the on position. And from the diagram they show so for the diagram it shows I should dip one and three down. And see if that helps the mouse work. And then I'll just reword it back to this. Well, that didn't work. It won't go into the mode when it's on auxiliary. But I can still use this button to trigger it. So this is originally how it's set up before I touched it. So I made it into this upgrade menu and I'm just going to hopefully this helps too. Looks like there's a version from November the 16th on my unit. It came with November the 8th. So within a week they did some updating. So maybe that helps. I don't know. We'll see. Pretty impressive. They added overlays for the climate control. You see when I press these buttons, it actually adjusts the top. sure how accurate it is right now but pretty cool they did that okay so working with their support I think we figured out what's going on um, a little bit of miscommunication for a little bit because they speak Chinese and their English wasn't so good but they sent me a picture and I didn't understand so they want me to actually there's two set of wires Hopefully they fix this in any future releases to you guys, if anybody else buys it. So basically, you see those two gray wires? They're hooked up to the, the, so the two green wires right here is actually for the remote, the mouse. And they twisted another pair of wires that was next to it and just spliced into it. So they cut that as well. And it's done on the other side too. Um, I have to unwrap it to show you oh, right here. So it's to the two brown and gray wires. So what they want me to do is they want cut me to cut the gray on both sides and then hook them back up together and that should fix it. The weird thing is that gray wire is going to the gauge cluster. You know, the where you can see the information from the radio on the gauge cluster side. So I don't know why they did it like this, but at least I think we'll figure out this this will pretty much fix it I think we got it figured out uh, but I thought they wanted me to connect those wires to this but they actually want me to undo it so it makes sense now but it took a lot of back and forth for a day or two until they figured it out I sent them factory wiring schematics even to show them what was going on and I understand how this works so Luckily, I think we got it figured out, so I'm going to do that really quick and then show you how it looks.
All right, I'm gonna take it out to the car and give it a try. Just gonna run a quick zip tie here and here just to hold it in place. Okay, let's bring this back to the damn car and give it a try. <sighs> Some radials right there. I'm gonna put you down so I can wire this up. Okay, moment of truth. Thing is plugged back in, stereo is kinda in place. Did I do something wrong? Oh, there it goes. Hmm? Man, the stereo is so damn slow. Get it back into park. So basically that wire that they twisted together with the joystick was the wire that goes here. So this works for the stereo, the audio controls of it. And that was the problem. <clears throat> For some reason, they hooked it up to that. So when this was trying to talk to the stereo, it was back feeding and making the joystick move on its own. So radio's on. What's going on? Wait, why don't I have... Oh, I'm on... Okay, so... No radio right now. Gonna go to auxiliary. Should flick right over. There it goes. Oh, nope. Still doing it. Didn't work, but I I kind of found a workaround. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. 
and I also told them about it, but we're still waiting for them to get a USA radio just like mine so they can try to replicate the issue there. So you see the mouse it's moving on its own. Found out if I put the card reverse image and let it show the reverse image and then pop it back so it goes back to this screen, it fixes it. So I'm gonna go in reverse and show the image with the backup camera. Pop it back, back there. Hey look, it's fixed now. Okay, it's working perfectly good now. It's not moving on its own. I told them about this, but they have no idea. They still say they want the radio. So here we are just waiting to see if they can figure this out. Once I hear back from them, I'll make another video to keep you guys updated. But yeah, car's still apart, waiting for a solution. Alright, guys, stay tuned, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, I'll let you guys go.